All right, just in case you missed something while we are, we're going over this in class, I'm going to quickly walk you through APA graphing one more time so that later on in the year you can refer back to it. So we've got our predator and prey data here. You're going to highlight what you're interested in, create a line graph. Once you create that line graph, you're going to have some information you don't need. Remember, you can always right-click on the things you want to change. You could format data series. I find it easier to just delete that line away. And then, as you start to make your adjustments and make your graph smaller, you might see some really crunched up numbers, and so you can fix that by going to Format Axis. You can specify your interval unit, and that should fix things up nicely. So now you can clearly read all of those numbers. You have nice, adequate spacing in between the numbers. Next thing you're going to want to do is put a title below the axis, so you can see the axis titles, title below. Type in your generations or years or whatever title is applicable. Keep it simple. You can always say more in your caption. Your vertical axis is going to be your rotated title. And so there again, I'm putting in population size. Again, keep it simple. Number of individuals, population size. So now you have your axes. So we want to change our lines so that they're visible. So we've gone right-clicked on the line, format data series, change the line style by changing the dash type. And then I've also changed to a solid line and changed the color instead of leaving it on automatic. And that allows me to create a line like that. Uh, the links, you can go in and do the same thing. Choose solid line and choose a color just to make that line black. Not a necessity, but it is going to print much nicer in black and white than the grayscale you get when you print color in black and white. Next. Go ahead and take away the grid lines. You don't really need them for the predator-prey graph. You're not looking for exact numbers of comparison here. You just want to show a trend. So you can remove those by clicking grid lines and none. You never want vertical grid lines in an APA style graph. Horizontal is optional. I always go for whatever is most clear. I also moved the legend just to show you that that is a possibility. It is not a requirement, but if you're having trouble fitting your graph to a quarter of a page, that does buy you a little space right there. And then you can adjust the chart width accordingly as well. Remember, just click and try and move things around till it looks like you want it. To insert the chart title, you've got that chart title, but it's going to pop it right into the middle where you don't want it, and so you can drag that to the bottom. You can change the size, the font, but Calibri is just fine. Um, Ten-point font is good. Type in the title of your choosing, and that's how it will look once you've taken the bold away. So there's still a few modifications we need to make. We need to italicize figure one and left align the text and then it kind of centered itself as well putting a little more space between the caption and generations but I'm still not loving the way this looks it doesn't look like things are quite aligned even though they are within the same box so moving things around a little bit taking away the bold from those axis labels and so now I've got it looking like I want it. I can copy, right click and copy, control V to paste in Word, but it's still got that pesky border around it. And so again, you can right click, format chart area, go to border color and select no line, and that will remove the line from the graph. And if you want to double check, you can go to print preview and double check that that truly is a quarter of a page.